Vision for Wednesday, October 11, 2023. I'm Bree, and today's top story highlights the band as they return from a busy weekend of competition. This past weekend, the band competed at uh, two contests on Saturday. It's the first time we've ever done more than one show in a day. Um, our first show was down in Grenada for our state evaluation, and we came away with all superior ratings for the fourth or fifth time in a row. I don't remember which. Um, and then we immediately packed up and drove back up to Memphis to perform at a uh, national level Bands of America competition at uh, Simmons Bank Liberty Stadium in Memphis. Um, it's the first time in eight years that we have performed at a Bands of America competition. Um, it was more just to kind of show the kids what it was like, um, to get them used to performing twice in one day. That's something we want to do more of in the future and uh, kind of get Horn Lake's name out there on a, on a national level. And we were able to, um, we had a good run in both places and it was a good day. The band performed multiple times over the weekend. We grabbed a video from the Bands of America performance Saturday afternoon from social media.
expelled from the sanctuary of joy they had withheld. October is Principal Appreciation Month and we wanted to feature our principals and their stories over the next few days.
Where did you grow up? I grew up in Bruce, Mississippi, which is a small town uh, south of Oxford. Tell us about your family. Um, I have a good family. I grew up, I was the oldest of three. I have a little brother and a little sister. Um, I currently am married to my wife. I've been married for six years and we have a one-year-old son. Tell us about your years in high school. Uh, my years in high school were pretty good. I was involved in a lot of stuff. I played uh, football. I played baseball, I did beta club, um, class president, you know, all that stuff. Um, but it was good, I had a good experience. Went to a, a school a lot smaller than this. I only graduated with 60 students. So when I'm talking small, it's like one hallway of this school is small. So, but it was good, I liked it a lot. Um, I still stay in contact with a few people from high school, but, but not too many, but it was a good experience. What was a pivotal moment in your teenage years? So the high school football team I was on was not very good my sophomore year. The year I started actually playing some. So we struggled pretty pretty bad. And um, that was a good year for me to learn like a lot about leadership, a lot about struggling through adversity. And then um, I, by the time we were, my, uh, by the time I was a senior, we ended up winning 10 games. Um, so that was a good experience. It was negative at first, but you know, fighting through it and learning how to deal with struggles was, was a good experience. What jobs did you have in high school? Um, I was pretty involved with sports like year round, so I did, never really had like a steady job, but I would always kind of, you know, wash cars or cut grass for people in my neighborhood and stuff like that. So I always stayed busy playing sports mostly. What is the funniest thing that you can think of that happened to you in high school? So one time we were in the lunchroom and we had corn. We always had like corn with our pizza. I don't know if, if I don't think we do that here, but anyway. And so nobody ever ate the corn. So me and my friends thought it would be funny if uh, we collected all the corn in the cafeteria and put it on one tray. So we just started dumping on this tray and then like students would come by and just hand us their corn. So we had like this huge like mountain of corn on the tray and then we took it up to the thing. It was, it was stupid, but you know. Tell us about your college experience. Oh, it was good, it was good. I played, um, played football at East Mississippi for two years. So I did the junior college route and that was really good for me. Um, you know, going from a small school to, you know, a big university would have been a, probably a little bit of a challenge, but I, I was able to kind of find that middle ground and I enjoyed playing football. I made a lot of really good connections with that. And then after I finished up at East Mississippi, I went to Mississippi State and got my bachelor's degree in secondary ed social studies. And that was where I met my wife. We had the same classes together, so that was, you know, perfect. Um, but it was great. I love Mississippi State. I, I love Starkville. Um, I would love to, you know, we like to go back and visit there a lot. So I grew up a big Mississippi State fan, so that was fun. Um, but it was an overall good experience. I wish I had gotten a little bit more involved with stuff. Um, that's the hard thing about transferring in after you go to a junior college. It's hard to get plugged in the way you would if you came in as a freshman. But overall, it was really good. I got involved with the BSU. I got involved with um, um, a lot of stuff going on with like our our uh, cohort in secondary ed. We do a lot of stuff together. So it was a good experience overall. How did you choose what college you wanted to attend? Well, I chose the junior college I attended because they had just won the national championship in football. So I wanted to play you know, for the best team. And I chose the I chose Mississippi State because I'd been a fan my whole life and I always wanted to go there, so that was an easy one. Um, for my masters, though, I chose the Ole Miss because they were offering a 50% off um, scholarship for anybody who attended a branch campus. So I couldn't really say no to that. Um, so that was that was one. How did you choose your future profession? Both my parents worked in education, so it's kind of the family business but I always kind of resisted it. And then as I was in junior college, it's it kind of dawned on me like, okay, this is what I want to do. You know, I want to teach and I want to work, continue to work in the school. I like school. Um, I like working with, I think teachers are really good people. So I like being around good people. Um, and so, yeah, that was the route I wanted to go. I knew I wanted to, I knew I wanted to coach to be involved in like football and, and athletics. So um, it was just kind of always something I wanted to do. What's something outside of school that you're passionate about? Um, I enjoy a lot of things. I like watching TV. I love movies. I love television. I like to be active. I like to play golf and tennis when I have free time. Um, I like to, you know, go play trivia at 
wherever's playing it if, if it doesn't start too late if it starts too late now it's kind of a no-go with the one-year-old but um, I like being involved in or, or doing stuff like that pretty involved in my church and do stuff with them all the time so tell us something you've always dreamed of doing my wife and I have been trying to go to all the major league baseball stadiums so right now we've got about four cross off the list but we kind of got um, sidetracked with with our son which is a good good thing but um, so hopefully we'll get back on that next summer we can go to a, go to a new one what's something students might not know about you I like to listen to all kinds of music I guess I don't know I'm, I'm pretty I don't know I'm kind of boring honestly <laughs> um, but yeah I like to try new kinds of music even if it's stuff I don't normally listen to what do you love about Horn Lake High School I just love the uh, the teachers here. We have such good teachers here. Um, coming to work every day is honestly, you know, it's, it's the best job I've ever had. Just because the teachers here are so good. They care so much about the students. Um, and I just love working with them every day and, and coming in and seeing everybody's smiling face and you know, everybody's so happy to be here. And um, so yeah, I just love working with the teachers and the students are great too. Honestly. This week's feature vocabulary words are critical, cumbersome, and deficit. Critical, expressing adverse or disapproving comments or judgments. Cumbersome, large or heavy and therefore difficult to carry or use. Slow or complicated and therefore inefficient. Deficit, the amount by which something is too small. Eagle family just wanted to bring to your awareness that this is College Awareness Month at Horn Lake High School. This month on Thursday, we're asking all faculty and staff to wear your t-shirt. If you wear your t-shirts, you can wear your jeans. Today, I'm representing the Jackson State University where I received my EDS in school counseling. We will also be hosting the College Fair October 25th in the Horn Lake High School gym from 9 to 11.30. Uh, we have a lot of schools participating so far. We have Delta State University, uh, Northwest, Ole Miss, Mississippi State, William Carey, Blue Mountain College, University of, Southern Missi University of Southern Mississippi, as well as other schools. We look forward to seeing you then. Teachers, don't forget, represent your college each Thursday in the month of October. All right, good morning, seniors. I have a special opportunity for you. On Tuesday, I will be handing out permission slips for a field trip to Northwest Community College. So um, there are only 90 spots available for this field trip. So I'm going to hand them out at Tuesday during lunch, and then they, it will be a first come, first serve. The first 90 permission slips that I get back will get to go on the field trip to Northwest Community College and see all their different trades. There are a lot of trades there. If you're thinking about trade school, this would be a great opportunity for you. Um, again, I will be collecting the permission slips on Wednesday morning. Um, the actual field trip will be on October 23rd. It will be a full day field trip during the school day. If you have any questions, please stop by my office. My office is in the library and see you soon. That's it for today's episode here at Horn Lake where better students always going to expect more. Stay tuned for your lunch menus and athletic schedules. We'll see you here tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.
필요해 우리 둘만 뜻통하면 돼 Yes, I said it, 두번 말해 Got you for life, said what I say 절대 놓치지 않을게 영원히 변하지 않을래 